Hey everybody, it's La Inside, and it's time for another unboxing. I bought this phone recently from Unihertz. This is a company that makes some really cool phones. We last looked at their really tiny one. Uh, this one is a phone that kind of replicates a more familiar design, and you'll see what I mean here in a minute. Uh, so let's start unboxing it here and see what we've got inside the box. Uh, so in here, it looks like we've got a screen protector along with some manuals. And then this is the device itself. And actually, it's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. This is actually enormous. Um, this is kind of like a uh, BlackBerry, not, I don't want to call it a wannabe, but a BlackBerry-inspired design. Um, it's a phone that I don't believe you can get yet at retail, but it will be out uh, pretty shortly. So I paid $239 for this one, but I think it's going to sell for closer to $400 when it's released. Uh, we're going to have a full review of this soon, by the way, on my main channel at lon.tv. Uh, 4.6 inch screen, so again, not tiny. It's certainly bigger than a BlackBerry, but the keyboard is bigger as a result. Uh, it's got a MediaTek processor inside. I believe it is the Helio P60. Uh, and we'll test the performance on it. It apparently works with Verizon as well as the other carriers here in the U.S. It supports dual SIMs from uh, the documentation. Uh, you got a camera here in the back and you've got another one here on the front. Uh, again, I, I can't get over just how big and bulky this thing feels. I was not expecting it to look like this, but it does feel rather rugged. And I think that's going to help quite a bit. Uh, so in addition to the full-size keyboard here, you also get a navigation surface here. It does not appear to be putting up a mouse cursor for me just yet. So once I get everything installed and we do the full review on the main channel, we can take a look and see what kinds of things you can do with that control surface there. It is a capacitive control surface. And in case you're wondering here, the uh, keyboard is backlit as well. And we'll figure out how to turn on that backlight. I have a feeling that once you get all the... Uh, software installed here, it will start acting uh, more like uh, you would expect it to act, but pretty heavy too. It's a bulky, bulky little phone here. Uh, let's see what else is in the box. We have the power cord here. We have some, oh, look at this. They give you some earbuds. And there is a headphone jack on this, by the way, uh, right here at the top. So you do get that, which you don't get on the modern phones. And it looks as though it's got a USB-C port for charging. We'll see if you can do anything else with that port as well. And altogether, a pretty interesting looking phone that we're going to be exploring in more detail soon on the main channel at lon.tv, so stay tuned. This channel is brought to you by the lon.tv supporters, including gold level supporters, the Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Rajesh, Logic GR and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.